Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I am talking about tips to strengthen immunity in the COVID-19 period. During the COVID-19 period, your health is under threat and uh, you can strengthen your immune system with these six tips. Here they are. 1. Eat fresh, unprocessed food every day. Eat more fruits such as apples, pears and citrus fruits. Make salads and natural juices with them at home to stimulate immunity. Frozen fruits are healthy options too. They do not lose their fiber and vitamin content. Add them to juices, smoothies or porridge. Consume them with yogurt or cafe. Eat also vegetables that store for a long time. You can eat carrots, beets, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, pumpkin, black radish, turnip, leeks and garlic. Choose canned or dried vegetables and fruits without added sugar. Frozen vegetables are also nutritious. Beans, chickpeas, lentils and peas are rich sources of vegetable protein, fiber, vitamins and minerals. Use them to make stews, soups and salads. You can cook canned vegetables, mushrooms, corn, peas, tomatoes, green beans at any time of the year. You can find complex carbohydrates, fiber and vegetable protein in whole grains, seeds, whole rice, pasta, oats and buckwheat, which are healthy foods. Potatoes and sweet potatoes are also sources of complex carbohydrates. You can consume them in limited quantities, mostly baked, boiled or steamed. Eat them as healthy snacks or add them to porridge, salads and other dishes. They are a rich source of unsaturated fats and they maintain satiety for a long time. Vegetables and fruits increase the intake of vitamins, minerals, fiber and antioxidants. Their vitamins and minerals strengthen immunity. Because vegetables and fruits are rich in fiber, they keep the digestive system healthy. They also prevent overeating. Vegetables rich in iron, folic acid and vitamin C are cabbage, parsley, onions, bell peppers, spinach, celery, beans and apples. It is better to eat four servings of fruits and five servings of vegetables daily. 2. Consume water in sufficient quantities. Water transports nutrients in the blood, regulates body temperature and purifies the body. Consume each day between 8 and 10 cups of water, minimum 2 liters of water per day. In addition to water, you can consume fruit and vegetable drinks. They contain water, such as lemon juice, diluted in water and unsweetened. You can drink tea and coffee, but do not consume too much caffeine and tea. They affect your sleep. Avoid sweetened fruit juices and concentrated syrups too. Alcohol weakens immunity. It reduces the body's ability to cope with infections. It increases the symptoms of depression, anxiety, fear and panic during self-isolation. Avoid it too. 3. Eat fewer fats and oils. Reduce your intake of saturated fats, butter, sour cream and palm oil, and limit fatty meat. Opt for unsaturated healthy fats, rich in omega-3, fish, vegetable oils, olive oil, soy, seeds, nuts, eggs and avocados. In cooking,
try to use small amounts of vegetable oils, only 3 or 4 teaspoons per day. And in salad dressings, too. Choose white meat and fish. Eat poultry two or three times a week. And remove excess fat and skin from poultry. Try to eat red meat less often, one or two times a week. Avoid processed meat that is high in fat and salt. When possible, replace meat with low-fat dairy products. Tuna, sardines and other fish varieties are good sources of protein and healthy fats. Eat them in salads, pasta or soups. Opt for canned fish in low-salt juice and avoid canned fish in oil or brine. Avoid fats found in processed foods, fast food and frozen pizza. Remember that beef liver, eggs and sea fish are rich in vitamin A and D, and dairy products are rich in calcium. 4. Reduce the amounts of salt and sugar. When cooking and preparing food, reduce the amount of salt and spices rich in sodium. 5 grams, about 1 teaspoon a day, is enough. Use only iodized salt. Limit the consumption of salt or sour drinks. And also of other high sugar beverages, fruit juices, concentrates, and food syrups. Do not eat ultra-processed and sugary foods, biscuits, muesli, sugary cereals, cakes, carbonated drinks, fruit juices from concentrates. Consume no more than 5 teaspoons of grated sugar or 25 grams per day. Replace sweets with fresh or frozen fruit. Check product labels for the amount of sugar used. Avoiding sugar, fat and salt reduces the risk of obesity, heart disease, stroke, diabetes and certain cancers. 5. Take nutritional supplements. The intake of vitamins and minerals from supplements will contribute to an adequate immunity status. One gram of vitamin C a day helps you a lot. Take vitamin D, calcium, iron, zinc, or folic acid. 6. Practice different sports. Sport always means health. Exercise indoors or outdoors. Jogging, running on the treadmill as much as you can. It also helps the heart and lungs to maintain optimal capacity. Try to keep in mind these tips. Respect them to enjoy better health. Proper nutrition and hydration are vital during this period. People who have a balanced diet are usually healthier. They strengthen their immune system and have a lower risk of chronic and infectious diseases. If you like what you have heard, please leave a comment below. Thank you for listening.